One new thing that you can try that is kind of like more advanced, more bleeding edge for Copilot is using the Copilot Labs. It's, an, it's a special extension. So I'm gonna go ahead do the extensions. I'm gonna say uh, Copilot Labs. I'm gonna search for that. And uh, you can see here that uh, GitHub Copilot Labs, it's right there and I can install it. I'm gonna install it, then I'm gonna um, make, it, uh, make it work and we'll see what are some of the features. Why is this important? Why is this useful? So as soon as this is done installing, you will get a, a GitHub uh, Copilot icon right there on the sidebar. So what does this, uh, this uh, give us? So I'm gonna change to the Explorer. I'm going to open a, a file here. There is a main.py file. This looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty useful to me. I'm going to close these windows. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to assume that this is brand new code for me. It's not brand new if I know exactly what it is. But um, if you are going through a new project and you're like faced with some uh, information like this that you're like trying to really understand. Well, I don't, I want to know exactly what's, uh, what's going on for with this. What is this app that mount doing? So I'm going to click on the icon here for uh, GitHub Copilot Labs and I'll get uh, this uh, section. So I can get explain, language translation, uh, brushes, test generation. And so let's take a look at uh, the explanation. So I'm going to say yes, I want to uh, get an explanation of code. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, so I want to I want to explain the code, advance, ask Copilot what is going on with this code? Why what is it doing? So I'm going to scroll. I'm going to actually see if I can make this a little bit a little bit bigger. So it's like here's the explanation for the code above. App that mount method is used to mount a static file directory in the path. Yes, that's that's actually correct. The first argument is the path, which is UI slash UI in our case. The second argument is the static file directory. And in fact, it goes through to actually explain the whole thing to me, which is very useful. You know, like the third argument is the, the, the name of the static file directory, which is UI in our case. This is all 100% correct and allows me to uh, properly uh, find out more about, like get a better understanding. So it's helping me out to, to, to be even more, more, more proficient in, in, in the things that I want to do and, and get better understanding, especially if it's a new project and I have no idea what's going on. That is really, really powerful. So uh, another thing that is uh, interesting is the language translation. So you can actually uh, translate certain languages into something different. Uh, you have uh, C, Clojure, uh, coffee script. So let's try that out. Not here on main.py because of course there's uh, libraries that we will need to install, but let's try something on something more, uh, something simpler. So I'm going to go to the Explorer and then go to the test underscore util, util where I have this uh, string to Boolean uh, function. So I'm going to select all of that and let's see if Copilot can uh, help us get, uh, get these translations. So I'm going to, uh, Get get all of these uh, get all of these a uh, little bit um, uh, minimized so we can have like a better better understanding of what's going on. All right, so we we've selected our function and I want to translate the code into something else. So I want to say maybe Rust. Let's see if Rust is available. There's Go, Java, PHP. I think uh, hopefully we can find Rust. So there we go. That's Rust. Uh, ask Copilot to translate that and let's see if we can generate something in Rust, which is a very popular uh, language. And look at that. It's even smaller than uh, <laughs> than what I did with Python. So Rust is uh, pretty pretty useful. And uh, it panics if, if the value is invalid. And that looks pretty, pretty uh, good to me. It looks... Um, looks like this is this is great yes i'm providing feedback to <laughs> github copilot saying it did a great job so that's excellent um let's try one one other thing which is generating uh, test cases now we did some translation uh, here we have some tests and just um, they look fine to me but uh, let's just uh, go ahead and try to use this copilot labs extension to try to generate some tests based on this. And let's see, let's see kind of like what are the things that is going to, oh, it's only supported for JavaScript and TypeScript. So that's that's a, that's a, a pretty, pretty valid uh, thing to happen with this extension, which is actually on 
preview. Uh, I can't suggest a new test. Uh, that's fine. If we go to the extensions and look at Copilot uh, Labs, you can see that is, these are experimental features for GitHub Copilot. So what does that mean? It will eventually land in GitHub uh, Copilot uh, proper, and you won't have to install uh, the, the Copilot Labs will have other features that probably aren't, aren't making it yet. So going back to our string to Boolean utility, I want to show you another uh, capability that does work uh, for a lot of uh, different languages uh, with uh, Copilot Labs, and that uh, that is the brushes section. So I'm going to go open up uh, open up Copilot and select the brushes uh, section, and you can see that there's a lot of uh, different things here. Uh, add types, uh, fix a bug, list step, make robust document. So let's try, let's try to do something, something here, something really neat. This, this was, this used to have like this uh, doc string, which is documenting the function itself. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to now select this whole thing. And I'm going to say, yes, you know what? I want you to go ahead and document this. So I'm going to click on that one and you can see the little logo was uh, spinning and, uh, this uh, this was uh, well documented in a in a very interesting way. Uh, the you know you might get different you might get uh, different uh, different results, but that's uh, definitely something that is interesting. And you can see if I run it again, uh, something else uh, something else is generated, and I can keep clicking, and uh, I can get other things like parameters, returns. I mean, this actually. This is actually pretty pretty nice. Any uh, value will raise a value or exception. Some of the parameters, some of the, the booleans, uh, the input to be converted. So these are uh, pretty, pretty good. And you can see that the context, it, it, it's still there. Val is the actual thing, the actual argument as it's named. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see if there's uh, some other things that we can do. So one of the things that I really like is sometimes to break code apart. Let's see if uh, the, this brushes uh, feature on the chunk one can uh, help us uh, separate these into two. And uh, it did. And you you can see that one of the functions was uh, named with it with a with an underscore so that it broke this uh, thing up apart and now it has the string to boolean function in one side and then this other chunk uh, right there so uh, definitely more to explore on the brushes but i think this is good enough to give you like a good idea of the things that you can do here with uh, github copilot uh, on on the things like explain code, translate to code to, to some other language, or even add a little bit of documentation or uh, break into into uh, smaller functions.